look who it is. All of you just decided to show up and join me. That's beautiful. How are you guys doing? I'm really excited to um, connect. I know it seems as though I've been MIA, but I want you to know I've been very present. I have been spending a lot of time with people who needed a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching. I've been doing um, a lot more coaching, a lot more channeling. Um, these BQH sessions have been going wonderfully. And I really am excited now that these last two months have been so busy and so focused on um, being of service and understanding the energy. Um, it's been a really great experience. And because of this, I've been able to understand what a lot of people are needing right now isn't what um, I think I was giving. So we'll get into that a little bit more here in just a second. But I want to talk to you guys about something that is uh, really coming to the forefront right now. Since mid-September, we've been receiving a lot of heart activations. The energy that's coming in is asking you to get out of your mind and get into your heart and decide what's true for you. Um, this energy that's been coming forward has also been asking us all to go within in ways that we haven't yet. Um, begin navigating and discovering ourselves within this new energy. And um, it has unfolded in such a way that um, I've really been able to pay attention to exactly what the energy is kind of trying to express to us. So There are a couple of things. First, we'll start off with this. If you are in a place where you are constantly asking questions and feeling stuck, feeling like you're not being heard from the universe or not receiving your own answers, I want you to know that you are the only thing standing in your way. I know we've heard this all before and it's like, I know, I know, I know, but how? And so the message that's been coming a lot, up a lot for everybody is you have to start to go within. It's time. You have to start to go internally and discover this new energy and how it's showing up for you. Nobody started off just understanding this energy. I think there's a there's a very big misconception, some things that are going on between um, maybe the spiritual world that we used to live in and this spiritual world that we are living in now. For a very long time, people would bring in information and didn't really know how to assimilate it into our lives and into um, who we want to become. And so there are a lot of practices that are outdated. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of misalignment still within the spiritual community that is saying, you know, um, Create growth, create knowledge, yes, research, expand all of this stuff. Um, but there's still a really large focus on the external. And um, in the past two months, doing all of these BQH sessions with people, sometimes three, four a day, I've realized that the majority of people out there, they want answers, they want to know, they want to connect, yet they're not giving yourself, their selves, themselves, the time to do that. So it's like spinning your wheels over and over and over. 
The second thing I want to talk about is as you begin to get out of your head and into your heart, you open up a whole new world. I've been saying this and saying this for months. It's not, um, it's definitely not anything, anything new, but there is a new twist to it. There is a new twist to it. And that is that we can't keep hanging on to our limitations and saying that we can't, we can't, I can't do this. I can't channel. I can't connect. I can't meditate because you can, you're just getting in your own way. So what it comes down to, all of these things come down to is why are we still getting in our own way? What is it? What is it that is keeping us in this pattern of not believing in ourselves, of not believing in our truth and who we really are? We practice, we know, we research, we hear all of these things. You are source energy. You are the universe. You are the creator of your life. You can have anything that you want. We hear it all the time. But then when it comes down to it, it's like, well, how? 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 How do you do that? How do you go within and really start to figure out what your guidance is? How do you go within and start to decide that your inner voice is the only one that really matters? This is, I think, where a lot of people fall off and they get confused and discouraged and lose hope. Because it's like, well, yes, I know that I should do this and I know that I should do that and I know that I should do this. It's in their mind, it's still the I can't train. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. They can, they can. Look, they can. Let's watch more YouTube. They can, they can, but I can't, I can't, I can't. And what is that? What is that noise? It's your subconscious mind. And what I've come to notice over these last couple of months of very intense heart activations is that our heart is being activated so the subconscious mind template can be revealed. And that's what's happening. The more you go within, the more you reveal the subconscious mind, the more you reveal to yourself these thought programs that whether they are in place because of society or your childhood or, um, you know, your past relationships, whatever it is, whatever situation that occurred in your life that made you decide that this is the way things need to be so that I can protect myself. These are the thought patterns that now hold you back. The matrix, the matrix we all keep hearing about, right? The 3D matrix, what is it? What is it really? Like, what is that? Just some invisible energy that's here on the earth that we somehow succumb succumb to because we're humans and we're stuck here, trapped here? No, that's not it. The matrix is the subliminal programming that we've been subjected to, whether it's by us and our own thoughts and lives, whether it's the parents, that were around us telling us that this is how things are. And we decided that, that, that we were going to program our subconscious mind with these same thought loops so that we can know life's hard. You have to work for money. You have to work to be really, you, you know, ahead in life. You have to work hard to be ahead. You have to, um, only people with great bodies are blessed with these awesome genes, right? Insomnia runs in the family. Heart disease runs in the family. Obesity runs in the family. Everything is a chosen expression. Everything is a chosen expression of who we are. And I've come to this really cool understanding where if we know what the subconscious subconscious programs are that are coming up, we can ask 
well, not necessarily ask them, but we can tell them to step aside. You can say to this thought form, I don't believe that anymore. You were there once to hold my hand through a really difficult time. And you allowed me a belief that got me out of my resistance during that really difficult time. But right now I'm not in that same energy. So you can take a step back now. I don't need you anymore. I'm strong. I know who I am. I know who I'm becoming. Yeah. So there's a lot of really beautiful things that we can do by taking a step back and really paying attention to the subconscious mind. Now, the subconscious mind, this is where the majority of our motivation for everything comes from. This is that automatic pilot that we all operate out of unless you are completely in the now moment which even the most practiced of spiritual beings, light workers, what have you, are not very consistent at. We need to be more present in the now moment so that when the subconscious thought loop shows up, we can stop it in its tracks and choose differently. The more you are able to recognize these subconscious thought patterns that are coming up, the more you are able to choose your heart over the 3D matrix. I have said forever also that the heart is the gateway into this fifth dimensional realm that we're asking to move into. All of these higher realms of reality, the way they are accessed is through the heart center. And if going into the heart center is causing us to have these subconscious thought patterns come to the surface, that's a clearing. That's just clearing out the heart center. The reason this is so cool, the reason why this realization is so cool, because this ends all transformative healing. You don't have to hash open your past. You don't have to dig into these things that caused you pain in the past. What we need to do is recognize the subconscious thought pattern when it shows up and shut it down and stand in our truth in that moment and decide in that moment who you're choosing to be. And the more and more we practice this, the easier it becomes. It's just like riding a bike. You look at riding a bike when you're a kid as like this big scary thing because you know, you could fall and how are you going to go? And then they let go of you and you're supposed to keep going. And oh my goodness, you know, kids when they're little, but they want it and they want it so bad. It's like, they'll, they'll do whatever it takes. And then adults, you know, if we were to use that same analogy with adults, it's like, you see somebody riding the bike and you stand there and go, wow, they're riding the bike. I should be able to ride the bike, but I can't, I must not be able to ride the bike. They're on the bike and they're going fast and in circles and figure eights. They make it look so easy, but I'm not riding the bike. So I must not be able to ride the bike. I can't ride the bike. And then adults these days will get on the bike, start to pedal and push off, fall. I can't do it. And then you just stand there staring at the bike, telling yourself you can't do it. You can't do it because everybody else can do it and you can't do it. Yet, like, did you try? Did you give yourself a chance? This is what's coming up. This is a theme that is coming up in almost every single interaction I'm having with people. They don't know how to get out of their head. They don't know how to stay in their heart. They don't know how to practice a lot of these practices of remaining peaceful and heart-centered and staying out of the mind. You know, our mind is the thing that tells us over and over and over, like, you should be cautious. Probably shouldn't do that right now. Now's not a good time. And your heart would tell you, on the other hand, you can do anything. You get to choose. Anything that you put your mind to can and will be yours. Show up. Come home. Take time for yourself. 
love yourself. Don't just know who you are when it's easy and you're doing your affirmations and your spiritual time in the morning or in the evening. Know who you are when you're standing next to your stubborn, you know, coworker that's going on their rant or, or, or whatever, you know, it's, it's, and, and, and knowing who you are isn't always about verbalizing who you are to other people. It's about holding that frequency within you for yourself. Everything that we think about the external world is a distraction to keep you from your own enlightenment. This is huge, you guys. This is really big. So we are being activated in the heart to release the subconscious programming. When we release the subconscious programming, we release the matrix. The matrix is the subconscious mind. That is your internal matrix. It's a structure of frequency that um, keeps us rotating within another group of vibrations. And these vibrations are vibrations of lack and external validation. And when we are able to step outside of that and really get into our heart and know our own truth, we let that all go. You're going from the 3D into the 5D, the 5D internal. So um, yeah, there's just been so much going on. Now, how, how does this big realiza realization relate to me and the work that I've been doing lately? Well, I've decided that my role that I had been uh, participating in is not the role for me. I don't want to be the teacher or the guru. I don't want to be in, and I'm not saying I am. I'm just saying like that whole mentality that I know things that you don't, that doesn't sit well within my heart. And I've been thinking about this for a while and, and finding new ways to um, freshen up the energy and really discover the ways in which I can truly be of benefit. Because when I sit back and do a channel session, gosh, there's so much benefit to that. There really is. I, I am able to speak with your higher self and bring you information that will unlock pieces of you that are needed for your growth. I hear your subconscious mind and I can guide you out of the thought loops that you're not noticing on your own. Those are all really beautiful things. But at the end of the day, it still shows you that I can do something that you can't. And this is not the type of spiritual work that I want to participate in. So I've started to ask Augzil and my higher self, my galactic team and my guides, how I can best continue to serve humanity going forward. And one of the really awesome things that came up was um, a way for me to not just share with everybody all of these awesome experiences I'm having going to my ship and seeing the plasma in the sky and hearing my higher guides and higher self speak to me and communicate with me, all of that's great. But if I'm not sharing the process of how I got here, how does that benefit anybody? What I've noticed is that within the spiritual community, we have this new, um, it's like a, a new energy building where the spiritual community is growing and growing and growing. And it is absolutely amazing. But I no longer want to partake in other people's disempowerment. So I have created some new things that are really going to benefit people in ways that the channeling and BQH won't. And by doing this, I feel like I am finally servicing my purpose. Because there is nothing more I want than for all of you to feel your own power. For all of you to really understand 
how to navigate this new energy within you. How, so how do you do that? How do you navigate this new energy and discover who you are? Because I'm different. I'm different than you. So who's to say by me just experiencing something and sharing that beautiful experience that that's helping anybody in any way? It helps people who are already in the place that I'm at, who are having similar experiences. But what about those who are just waking up? What about those who are on the path, but maybe a little confused? So I've started to put together something that I'm really, really proud of. I started putting together the internal alchemist workshop series. And um, the first workshop series is going to be accessing your fifth dimensional life. And it's going to be all about connecting and going within. How to do it. Why to do it. What practices work the best for me? What practices are working great for others that I'm working with? Um, you know, just a lot of diving deeper into how to navigate your own internal energy. Yeah. So that's going to be the first workshop that I'll be launching here um, soon. I'll keep you guys all posted on when I am launching that. Um, this... Um, whole workshop series is just a way for me to put my toolbox together and share with you all how I use guided imagery, how I use um, internal programming, positive self-talk, affirmations, how I choose every day to be a part of this and not this. It's still, um, it's still a work in progress and it should be ready here shortly to be announced, but I'm really, really excited. I think this is going to benefit a lot of people. Um, the first workshop that I'm doing is going to be broken up into three parts. The first part, we're going to go through a lot of processes. We're going to go through um, a lot of how-tos and then we're going to do some practicing of that. Um, then the middle portion of the workshop, we are going to do some guided imagery into our hearts and into this fifth dimensional realm and higher where we can really ground this energy into us and bring it back into our day-to-day -day life, which is what we all want. You know, it's just, how do you get there when you don't know? Cause you don't know what you don't know. Um, so going within and teaching people how to go within, within these certain ways and really discover this new energy, I think is going to bring forth a lot of changes for those who participate. And I'm really looking forward to all of that. Yeah. You know, the, um, the intensity these last couple of months has been so interesting because it's been day after day after day, these energy waves just coming in and shifting you and changing you and asking you to mold into this person that we are all becoming. And um, it's just been really, really a cool experience. And I'm excited to have more time to do more videos, have more interaction, um, place more content up. I'm also putting together a lot of meditations, guided meditations um, for connecting to your galactic team, guided meditations for collect, co connecting to the angelics, the elementals, fifth dimension, your ship, um, some healing meditations in my ship. Um, I just, I have a lot of stuff that I'm getting, getting together and that I'm going to be putting up on the website. And um, so while I have been MIA from YouTube, I have not been MIA from you guys and um, ways to share more and more of this information that's coming forward in a way that's going to be more beneficial. While it's awesome to have an experience, it doesn't do you any good if you don't know how to do it for yourself afterward. And that's something that has been um, really coming forward, really coming forward. So 
I, um, sorry, I have a little bit of a runny nose now that I got teary eyed. Um, I'm just excited to share all of this really cool stuff with you guys. I'm excited to start putting up more videos and really getting back into what I love. I missed interacting with you all. This experience um, of facilitating these sessions back to back for, um, for this amount of time has just given me a lot of knowledge that I've been taking internal and asking a lot of questions and re really utilizing my guidance so that we can move forward in these new ways. Um, and don't, don't worry, for those of you who are still interested, I am still gonna be offering um, the BQH and the channeling sessions and all of that because I do know there is a benefit to that and it is fun for me to connect with people in that way. Um, all of my work is ascension based. So, you know, there are people who want to know about their boyfriends and their jobs and, and stuff like that. And all of that does pertain to our evolution and our ascension. Um, but a lot of times it's really good to let everybody know up front that the information that comes through is going to come through at a soul growth level. Your higher self is not going to come down and talk to you about your pedally, your pedally squab, squabbles, you know, with your significant other and stuff like that. So I will still be doing channels and the sessions and stuff like that. Um, uh, continuing this ascension focus. Um, but I just want to, I'm really excited to start to share the actual techniques that I'm using and in the manner that I'm using them in because there is a process. You know, it's not like people, a lot of times people think like, you know, it's A to Z, right? A, not channeling, not connected as much as you'd like. And then there's Z, connecting, channeling, communicating with your higher self, remembering your dreams, astral travel, lucid dreaming, all of these stuff, all of these things, right? And people think that it's either A or Z. There's no in between. And this is what I was talking about with a lot of these old thought pro, I don't want to say old thought programs, but just old thoughts on spirituality and, and how to navigate this energy. Because, you know, 20 years ago, the idea was you either channeled or you didn't. You are either clairaudient or you're not. And it's not true. There is a wide spectrum in the middle of all of us. And it's all about the opening up of who we are and what level of opening up are you at? Don't expect yourself just to go to A to Z. It doesn't work that way. You know, if you're at A, let's figure out what B is and let's start practicing B and then recognize the information and connection that comes from just moving from A to B. And once you get to B, we'll focus on C, you know, and, and this is what the higher self is telling all of us. You don't, nobody just goes from A to Z. You go from A to B and then from B to C and then from C to D and so on and so forth. So if you're sitting in this space of like, I want to connect more and I'm not, then your next step is going to be just towards connecting, not towards having a response or an outcome, but just towards doing the things that you know are set up for you to connect. Um, and then while you are connecting, it's important to start recognizing some of the sensations and some of the things that happen when you connect. Because it's not always that a voice just comes into your head and starts communicating with you. A lot of times it's the body twitching. It's the sensations, the goosebumps, the pressure, um, the ache. A lot of, almost 90% of the time, that is the first signs of communication that get overlooked and thrown out the window. And people just say, oh, well, I can't. No, you can. But you're missing the mark because you want to go from A to Z. Your higher self is trying to get you to go to A to B. So that's just something that's come up a lot also. And that's a lot of um, older spiritual ways of thinking that, you know, you either are clairvoyant or you're not, you're, you know, um, this or that or you're not. And you, we are developing. In this new energy, we are developing. You, the fifth dimensional body template has already been activated within you. This is what was activated 
in 2017 in the initial eclipse. It was an activation of the crystalline body template. Now, does that mean that we were all beginning to crystallize our, our energy at that time or the chakra systems were switching at that time? No, not at all. That just means that the energy was there and representing and supporting this shift within us. So it began to open up our DNA in, in new ways that it hadn't before, allowing for new genetic expression. This new genetic expression is the expression of this higher frequency, which means we're already tapped into all of the clairs. We just don't know how. So the beauty in all of this is that I have been able to um, take time lately and put together the system on how you can begin to take step A to B and B to C until you get to Z. And I think this is going to be a really beautiful co-creation that we can all come together on. So I'm really, really excited about that. Other than that, everything else has been going really good. Um, it's getting a lot cooler here in Texas. I'm excited for the holidays and the celebrations to come. And I hope you all are doing so well. I have absolutely loved getting to know all of you um, on a more personal level through, through the sessions and um, through communication. And I know I've been receiving a lot of emails lately, like, hey, where are you? And um, just know that it was well needed time that I needed to take. I always follow my intuition and guidance. Um, and these last two, two months, well, September and October, um, I spent my days giving my energy to others. And it's been such a beautiful experience. It's been such a beautiful experience. But I also decided within that, that there's a way more expansive way for me to reach um, those, who are, those who are ready, those who are ready for the next step. Because time to take action. It's time to take action. Yeah. Big things are coming. I hope you guys are all doing so well. Um, we just need to keep focusing our energy going back within. Everything, 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 everything is guiding us within right now. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. They say it over and over and over again. Oh, and I forgot to say, okay, so the three parts of the um, internal alchemist workshop. Um, the first part is going to be the processes. The second portion is going to be a really beautiful guided meditation to bring back this energy and ground it into you. And then the third part, we're going to go into a channeling session and then do a question and answer afterwards. So um, this is going to be awesome. I can't wait to interact with you all on this new level. Um, yeah, it's really cool. It's really exciting. So I love you guys. I hope you're doing so good. I hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope you really are taking care of yourself. It's, it's not about researching and figuring out you've already awakened. It's time to practice what you know. It's time to put it into play. And if you are listening to this audio right now, that means you. Yeah. Everything's here for us, you guys. We have to start figuring out how to tap in. And we do it by practicing. We're not going to get it right every single time. Every single time I've meditated, even now, I don't always connect in, in that communicative way. Um, I do connect. I do meditate to connect. So I leave that door open, you know. There's, um, there's a lot of ways in which we can begin to navigate this energy together. And I'm so excited to start to share all of this with you. So I think this video has been long enough. Hi, I'm back. Um, I have a lot of really cool stuff coming, a lot of really cool content going to be put up on the website here soon. And I'm looking forward to all of it. I hope you're all well. I hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope you're staying as stress-free as you can. Um, by releasing your subconscious thought loops, the things that want to keep you in worry and fear and confusion, confusion. Holy moly, does it ever keep us in confusion? 
uh, but we don't have to live in that space anymore. And by practicing your pause, you can get out of it. Practice pause when you feel that thought loop come up and just tell yourself, this is your subconscious mind. You don't have to fix anything right away. We feel like we have to pause and then just fix it. And then it has to be fixed from that point on forevermore. And that's not really how this energy thing works. You're still going to carry that frequency within you. So practice the pause so you can start being more conscious of your thoughts. When you bring your unconscious mind to the forefront, all of the programming is going to start to fade away. And that's exactly what you want anyway, because that's the only thing hindering you from living in your heart. Um, every misbalance in your chakra system is all showing out through the manifestation of the thoughts of the subconscious mind. So any imbalances that you have by focusing on the subconscious mind will be balanced out. Um, the subconscious mind is your key to everything. So start to play with it, start to experience it, start to pay attention to it. Um, find meditations, find things that soothe you, find things that feel good and keep reminding yourself that you are the light. You are a being of light. There is nothing in this world. There is nothing here that could represent itself that is too much for you to handle because you have a choice in everything. We all do. And by continuing to release the subconscious mind and live through the heart space, you're going to release yourself from the matrix and move into the fifth dimension. And that's exactly what you've been asking for this whole time. Good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, it's cold and rainy here in Texas today, guys. We're going to stay snuggled up and stay warm. And I hope you guys are all doing the same. I can't wait to have some more chats with you. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye. I love you.